classy. Bougie, ratchet, classy. <laughs> Why ask me? Up and down. Up. Hey, what's going on, Dolly friends? Callie Storm Doll here. And yes, I caved and I did a mini doll haul slash late birthday gift. And I grabbed some of these Barbies. I have one of the made to move Barbies. Shout out to Ruby's Reds World of Dolls. Hey, Ruby. Hey, Miss Reds. Yes, I saw her recap of this beauty and I had to pick her up. I also grabbed one of the cutie reveals I'm going to unbox. And I got something that was on sale I wanted her for a minute um, I call her the Nicki Minaj Barbie but this is the Barbie extra that came um, I think she came out last year it was really hard for me to find her and when I did she was like super expensive but she was discounted out I want to say from Walmart and I got the other two from Target but this is who we will be unboxing in today's haul so I'll get them unboxed and we'll be right back so right now we're going to look at the Barbie Extra Deluxe clothing. She comes with these velvet black pants. They are straight leg pants and they are a little stiff. She also comes with this cute top. It is blue and white. Polka dots all over. Kind of like a scrunchie top. Now here we have her purple pleather skirt. You can see it does Velcro in the back. The one thing that I wish Mattel would have done is made it completely purple and not that side white. I mean, how much would it cost just to make it purple all the way around? Here we have is her shoes. They are purple see-through heels with bows on the front of them. I'm hoping that you guys can get a good look at those to see if you want them in your collection. We also have her jewelry. She comes with a pink necklace and a purple heart. Now, Nikki also comes with this pink fur. What is a Barbie without her pink fur? Although the inside is nice, the outside does remind me of matted dog hair. Um, I would prefer like a faux bubble jacket next time, if that's okay, Mattel. I think we should just get rid of the fur. Let's just start making bubble jackets. Yeah. This is her polka dot top. It is white and black. Now, something I'll show you guys is two different materials. The front is shinier in, than the back, if you guys can peep that out. I'm not sure why, because it's not like she can wear the back of it. She can only wear the front. With these two accessories, these yellow glasses that say Girl Boss. And she also comes with a lipstick purse. The lipstick purse does make me think of the Barbie movie because it reminds me of propaganda they would give out at the theater so that you can promote the film. And it is a functional purse. Okay, and now we have her pooch here. And she looks so cute with her purple collar and pink bow on top. The head can move. We also have this glitter purple bow top. And then on the back, it's just a neutral purple. Now this one, you can slide around and have her wear the front of it or the back of it. We are here to look over our Barbie Extra Deluxe doll, aka our Nikki doll. Yeah, so this is her base look. I have not mixed up her outfit or anything, not just yet. So when we first get her out of the box, she does come with these white lace-up heels, as you can see. This is a removable piece. And this can either be a skirt or you can add it at the bottom so that her um, dress looks more like a gown. The main dress is lime and lavender and it has roses all over it and the roses are pink you can see there is no velcro so it's just the belt and you also see the jewelry on her wrist which is all removable and so is her barbie belt she also has on a purple necklace right there and i'm not sure what's in the middle oh it's a flower it's a rose just like her neck just like her dress you can see her earrings and these actually feel nice now, as far as her face up, this is the face of the Deluxe Barbie Extra, which I call our retail Nikki Barbie. As you can see, she does have green eyes, pink lips, and then the light pink eyeshadow. Her hair is light pink all the way through with a slight crimp. Now, the hair quality is no good. <laughs> It 
like if you start brushing this good luck to you i was thinking maybe i could bull wash it but then i'm like i don't know if this is the type of hair to bull wash because it's straight hair but if you guys can see through the camera it's not the silky smooth type it almost reminds me of yaki like you know cheap braiding hair that's what it reminds me a little bit now nikki does have articulation she can look side to side she has shoulder articulation elbow of course wristlet um, she has hip articulation so she can sit and she also has a bend at the knee. I think she is so beautiful. She kind of reminds me of a gymnast. You know what I'm saying? I really love the body sculpt. I love the articulation. I love the made to move Barbies. The only thing to really review um, is the sculpt because she is featuring a more athletic sculpt and it looks really really good not too busty not too hippie but you can tell it's more of a realistic body as far as her outfit goes I do like the red um I'm pink I do like the pink and white pants it reminds me of like a milkshake swirl and then the top kind of reminds me of like a um orange sickle ice cream so she's kind of gear up for her yoga class I'm definitely not keeping her in this outfit I love her face up. It's soft. She just looks really happy. I love the high pony. I will be keeping her hair in this. And as you can see, comparative to the Barbie Extra, her hair is so soft. It's so smooth. It's easily to move around. And they were two different price points. The head movement, shoulders, biceps, double bend in the elbow, wristlet. They also have abdomen rotation hip articulation they have a thigh cut double bend in the knee and then they have foot articulation okay so it's way more articulation with the barbie meat to move now last but not least we're gonna look over our barbie cutie reveal and for today's video i did pick up the bear frog they must have ran out of animal ideas so now they're combining animals a dog and a frog we have her but they also have the raccoon looks like we have the dolphin and it looks like we have the koala bear so it looks like it's a lot of them to collect so what we're going to do is we're going to look over the doll first now looking over the doll this is the base this is the base doll so when you get this doll straight out of the packaging this is what you're going to get you're going to get the big plastic feet the plastic hands the head as far as the head sculpts i think he looks so cute i love his eyes his cheeks i love the frog eyes at the top definitely soft soft all over it is green and white has a little detailing on the side there but nothing on this side um the pants and the top are a separate piece and we have the barbie logo at the bottom now part of the cutie reveal is revealing what's underneath so let's take off So before we continue, this is partly why I picked this up. I think this is so beautiful. This is the reverse side of the hoodie top that we just saw. Sadly, the pants are not reversible like the top. But they're still nice, nice pants. Like if you want joggers or sweatpants for your dolls, these pants are really good at that. And they feel like nice material. I'm serious. Or even sleep pants for your doll. These are awesome. I would, I would get it just for that if I wanted more sleep clothes in my collection. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is the head off. And bam, this is our frog dog. This is our frog dog. We should give her a name so we don't call her frog dog. Since she's green, let's call her Olivia, okay? Like Olive. So this is Olivia and straight out of the packaging, wow. Her hair, wow. Oh my gosh. Thousand times better than Barbie Extra. No shade, Nikki no shade and i just came out of a surprise bag no shade nick wow this hair quality is everything and look at her face up the face up is beautiful yes she has the green eyes i love the lip up i love her nose her face is different i love everything about her the body is um less articulated than a barbie extra so right now brooklyn is the most articulated but she has the head movement she has shoulder, she has elbow, of course hip, she can kick out, 
back and forth and then one bend make sure it's lined up line it up and one bend at the knee okay so the thing about olivia is that she does come with surprises yes i love that all the girls are together yes we got the superstore we got the surprise and we got the yoga teacher we can already have some fun so we have one two three four blonde bags let's open them up okay so this first one is a frog purse oh, no not fun yay i'm so happy to have this this is actually the second reason why i purchased this is for this skirt i think this is such a cute skirt and i'm gonna mix and match it with one of the girls i can't wait for you to see i love this skirt and it's soft this is my favorite piece right now yes this is so cute all right and of course we have her little pooch his eyes are in sleep mode but this is the theme dog frog yes and this is the comb and this is also the smudger so if you did want to do some of those water effects on olivia this is a nice thickly made comb too and these are the boots that she comes with nothing too special about them they're completely pink and they have the treading on the bottom with the b representing barbie now that we have all these ladies unbox unpackage it i have so many clothes now what i'm gonna do is actually come up with some ideas some different looks and from what we have here just everything we're using today anything we unbox today i'm gonna come up with three different looks for these ladies make sure you stay tuned we'll be right back okay so we have the ladies in their final looks and i will give my um, final thoughts as we wrap up this doll haul so this is the look I came together with our um, Barbie Deluxe, a.k.a. Nikki. I decided to give her an all-purple garden look. So she has the, the neutral purple at the top, then the floral detail going down. I kept the strappy white heels on just to help elevate her calves a little bit. I kept the frog purse because if you look at her towards the back, you can see the green with the flowers. Kind of made me think of a frog on a lily pad, okay? She does have the pink flower necklace on with her um, watch and pearls. Also the silver hoops because she doesn't come with any other earrings. And then I kept her hair as is because we know it's not the best quality. What do I think of Nikki as a doll? I'm happy to have her in my collection. I had been eyeing her for a minute. So seeing her on discount was awesome. So I am happy to have her. But the downside, I do wish she had better hair quality. And of course, I'll always ask for made to move articulation. But let's move on to Brooklyn because this is, and since I already have a Brooklyn on a made to move, I'm going to name her Brittany or something like that. Just so it's still a B, but you know, hey, I love this look. The green floral detailing looks so good on her, even down to the boots. Like the whole outfit is giving me, hey, let's go out to the mall. You know what I'm saying? Or let's go do a thing. It just gives me awesome. I paired her with the purse because it just looks good. And underneath, she does have on her orange top. And even that, like even this is low key. You know what I'm saying? Like this could be a little look for her. I love this. I definitely think out of my hole, no she, that she was the best so far. But last but not least, we have our Barbie, Barbie cutie reveal. And as you can see, this is the look I came up with her. She, do, she does feature the flat feet. So I didn't have too many options as a heel. So I did decide to put the sneakers on her. She does feature the purple skirt, the Barbie belt, and the polka dot top. Out of all of them, her hair quality is the best, which is crazy because out of all of them, she's considered a budget doll, but her hair quality is the best. I love her face up, but as far as that and her fashions, um, 
I think I should definitely rebody her because I feel like she's worthy of a full articulated body. Even though she does come with some points, I may rebody her, but I definitely think she's beautiful. I may eventually put her into a different outfit, but I just wanted to make them all outfits out of the um, items we unboxed today. But yes, I'm happy to have all of them, but definitely the made to move definitely impressed me. Her hair quality is so impressive. Like she's... You know, you should just get her based on that, you know? That's my unboxing. That's my haul. You all let me know what you thought about today's video. Do you have any of these beauties in your collection? Are you interested in them? Or would you collect them? Let me know. And Mattel, if you happen to see this, let's do away with this hair quality. Because I can imagine even if, I like, I'm an adult collector. So as an adult collector, I can manipulate ways to keep this somewhat good but i can only imagine what a younger collector may have to go through with such poor hair quality i'm not that big into hair so for me personally i need higher hair quality because i may not know how to care for lesser but i think it's important you know for them to have that because i can't say it's price point this doll was cheaper than that one but the hair quality is so much better like i can flip it and move it and then lay it, you know, twirl it, lay it down. Like, she was literally in her package with her hair all over the place. And it's so beautiful. Same thing with the Britney one. You know, hers is just in a high pony, but her hair looks good, too. It's all about the hair for me. But you guys comment below. Stay locked to the channel because there will be more toy and doll unboxings to come. I want to thank you for spending time with me today. And I'll see you on the next one. Like, share, and subscribe.